Now for the good stuff. eBay crap. Only one of these boxes is eBay crap. Which one do you want to do eBay crap? I'm going to say the big milk one. Nope, that's not eBay crap. One of, one of those? One of those boxes. Hmm. Which one? Your choice. That one. That one on the bottom. Oh, you work, huh? <laughs> what is it? Uh, I'm going to say it's airplane parts. Oh, you're smart. If they had one for sale, I bought all six. <laughs> so that's the new one. This is the old one they had. I only had one of these. We only had the one. So now we got. Remember, I told you I was a small piston I had? Yeah. That's a small piston. Okay. Oh. Now I get it. That bigger? That is a bigger piston. See, this one's for a small motor. That's for the 360 motor. See, it's four and so it's an oversized 4.2, 2.8, 4.4 is a standard, I think. So it's like a 30 over. So this one here is bigger. Five and a quarter. Now, what I didn't know is different the wrist pin sizing. It does appear the wrist pin's bigger yet. It does look like it. It was already too big for a Harley rod. See, that's one inch. So this must be big. One and an eighth. So we're getting up close to like a Hemi top fuel motor now. <laughs> Still has rings with it. How fat are those rings? Oh, they're fat rings. Hundred thou. 90s, oh, they're variable. How about that one? 100. Why would that be thicker than the second one? 89. Yeah, it's 91. Same thing. This one's 105. And the oil ring looks pretty crap. It looks like it's frozen in there. It doesn't do anything. The oil ring isn't doing nothing. It's a one piece oil ring with a shitty expander on it. But it doesn't, there's no tension on it. Look at that. Did it even work? <laughs> Obviously not. Look at all the oil blowing by it. <laughs> About 160 or so. Barely broken in, look at that. Graphite coated. Oh, little seizure mark. That won't pass the fucking airplane test there. That's, that's scrap. Yeah. Alright, let's throw it away now. Uh oh. That one knows the compression height. 1825. Ooh. This was a short one. See, I bought it on purpose to be short. See how much shorter it is? Wow. That means I can run a quarter inch more stroke with this piston than with this. But this is a bigger bore, so I can't use that one anyway. They make these in different heights and stuff, but you can't. They don't really tell you too much information on this airplane crap. Because they don't want you working on anything. This looks like about 1850. So, somewhere in the area. It could probably be lightened a little bit. Do you all think that is? Oh, damn. That's, yeah, that's thick. I wonder why that thing weighs 100 pounds. Like this. So, well, these are supposed to be runnable cylinders. It's got gaskets with it. I didn't have gaskets in mine. Look at that. Yeah, it's got two different st style valves, or the odd collars. So this has got a rotator on it, so it spins. So it's probably on the exhaust. This one's a fixed one. And that is the intake. Even though it looks like an exhaust. <laughs> How dark it is. Mm. <clears throat> that is the exhaust. It's pretty constipated, and you can barely get your finger in that damn thing. Yeah. Mm. Dinky. And exhaust leak too. So these are turbo motors because you got exhaust one side and take the other. 
I told this was an injection, inject, mechanical injection, dumping raw fuel in the motor. Is there a hole in there somewhere? Yep. Way back in there. No, way back in there. Yeah, okay. well, got a lot more. There's a lot more flow through these intake and exhaust. And the exhaust can barely get your finger in there. The intake, you, can, you got room for almost one and a half, maybe almost two. Just got a stripe on it for some reason. Racing stripes. Yeah, there you go. So, what's it look like? You got rusty valve springs. That is not good. That means a break. Those will never meet code being rusty like that. Ooh, it's got the O-ring on there. Good, good, good. More extra parts. How's the bore look? A little dusty. You got a rag. Now this is a steel liner, not a chrome liner. No ridge. Oh, right there's a ridge. Yeah, it's got more. It's got some miles on it. Oh yeah, there's a ridge there. Not much. Not too much ridge there, but down here there is. Not much there either. So right here's not much ridge. From here to here there's a ridge. So I don't think this would pass the airplane spec for wear. You feel the lip in there. Feel it. Oh yeah. But it's a good thing I'm not an airplane guy, so I don't care. I just care about the bore being good, not rusty. Looks like it's running pretty lean. That's good. Yeah, the bore looks nice. Just got to do a little honing in there. Just take a little cross hatch down the bottom still. It looks very runnable to me. Plenty adequate for my bike. Or excuse me, my airplane. <laughs> what kind of clearance do they use? 10 thou. 10, 12 thou. Cool. Nice and loose. That's a big bore though, so. See, my cylinder had issues with it. See the issues? Oh, yeah. Rust. Breaking material right there. Some pitting. Yeah, they had water in it. A lot of pitting. That's the bottom of the cylinder. So, these weren't runnable. I only have one anyway. And now you have seven. No, now I have. It comes with dirt too. Oh, yeah. It's from Florida. All right. Evidently they have sand down there in Florida. Everywhere. That's a lot of sand. <laughs> All right, so we should have uh, five more. You know what that means? We've got five more boxes to open. Three motors. Oh. You didn't catch on to that yet? I'm slow. You're slow. Not if you put this on your bike. I don't think it would fit. Can we do a kickstart? You can try. I'll stand behind the camera and watch. It's be hard to kickstart my damn race flag, will it? <clears throat> All right, so there's more cylinders here. Some extra parts. This one's lighter. Ooh. That's a cylinder I can tell by that sound. That sounds like it's a big stud in there. Doesn't sound like a cylinder though, does it? No. Four, five. Five. Oh. Let's 
the extra parts. Let's see what this one is. The lip's not as big though. It's actually better condition. It's like my race bike. The more oil on the outside, the better. <laughs> the faster it went. It means it blew up more. Looks decent. So you can see how far the piston comes down, right to here. You can see how far it goes up. So if we take a measuring stick, measure the height, six inch. See? Yeah. Top to bottom, six just over six. And you subtract off this much. Three and a half almost. And that's how much stroke you have. So the wear lip's going to be where you can see it, so not there. It'll be here and to the down. So they're about three and five sixteenths. So that would be <coughs> six point oh five minus three point. Was it three? About two and three quarter inches. I don't. I think the stroke's more than that. These are short stuff, it ain't that short. So maybe we're seeing the... You wouldn't think the whole thing would come out the bottom of the hole, but yeah, they did. It's kind of weird. So I think these had um, like three and three quarter stroke in them or something like that. Not exactly sure. It doesn't measure quite right. No, well, this one's nice and oily, so it's better condition. It's got black gaskets on it, not that racing red stuff. Mm. This is four. And we don't know what number that one is. Oh, that one's one. There's one that... Oh, there it is, one. So this is number one on the other side. Those ran together. So this is the non-thrust side, this is the thrust side, it's got miles on it, see how smooth that is, it's worn quite a bit. I think this would you could call this uh, be a 50,000 mile motor at least, maybe 75,000 mile motor, oh, well. going by the uh, wear on the pistons. I'm guessing it's not a new motor. That means it's just broken in for me. That's perfect. You know I'm going to run the snow out of it. I think I have to get custom piston made, but I don't know. I can use that, it's cheaper. True. But I don't like those big boat anchor pistons. Okay, this was supposed to be some extra parts. You couldn't tell me what he had extra. Extra. Oh, looks like an injector lines. Oh, uh, that'd be an oil pump. That looks like a big oil pump. Yeah, a lot of crap running through that oil pump. I don't think this passed the uh, cut. Ooh, feel that. Oh, well. Wow. Mm, smooth, huh? <laughs> I can see it. It's bad. So this is the kind of oil pump I need for the bike. That's a lot of oil pressure. Use 
the injector line. So these must be what goes in the holes over here. <coughs> here. Oop, these are fittings in them already. Not that side. Flip it this side here. Yep. So here's your mechanical. Nope, that doesn't fit. Hmm. So this must be a different mechanical arm. <clears throat> this is not the one that went to here. This must have went to something else. <clears throat> but I got a couple of them. Mm -hmm. They're too small for nitrous lines. Well, maybe for a low power nitrous motor. You put a little nitrous to it. Perfect place to put nitrous in the motor. It's already plumbed for it. Perfect. <clears throat> now, we got a little extra power, you know. We can't just be turbocharged and or something inches, we got some passing power. <laughs> Ooh, there's a bunch of good stuff now. Now we're talking. I like this box. So they run a flat lifter cam in it. I wonder if it doesn't very good. That looks like a lifter block gasket for Harley, but a little bit bigger. Yeah. Fancy gear, looks nice. This is what I like. Rocker shaft. Sparking plugs. Twin plug. Oh, they got two different lengths. Nope, same length. What's the copper washers? There should be some copper washers for these two. Dual plug. Yes. Got that. Valve spring. That sure looks like a Harley clutch spring, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> I wonder what that's for. <laughs> that's bent. <clears throat> no rocker shaft. No rocker arms, though. We got shafts. Ooh. Now there's a wrist pin. <clears throat> buttons on it. You don't have to worry about that failing. <laughs> Feel the wear on that thing. Oh, jeez. That failed the, uh, the connecting rod replacement test. Yeah. That's the wrist pin. Five pounds. Look how much horsepower you save when you lighten that thing in half the weight. A lot of weight on this motor. Make these out of plastic instead of that. Save a lot of weight. How's that damning? Some kind of a poppet valve thing. Yeah. Unknown. Piece of plastic, or something. No, that has bolt in there. Big dowel pin for something. Probably something to do with the crankcases, I bet. Oh, there's junk in here. These are probably only 50 bucks a piece. Grade 8 bolt for something. Not tall enough for that. Some nuts. I don't think those are the right size. For there, might be. Yeah, that might actually be the right size. That'd be nice if I got those. That looks like the bolt for up here. Yeah, it's not really enough length. I would want more threads than that in there. They're definitely threaded a lot deeper than that. That's hydraulic lifter stuff. Hmm. I don't know why that would be on top. Lots of unknown stuff. Well, that's got some wear on that sucker. Look at that thing. That's got a couple of years worth of wear on that one. These things are super expensive. Too. Everything about the airplane is expensive. 
Yeah. I'll do a log and set. I think these are the correct notes. There's a couple in there. See, see how they're rounded a little bit? Yeah. yeah. You can't reuse that. That's garbage. Heaven forbid if you did that. But good, at least now I know what to use now. What's this here? Uh, I think somebody made a mess. Ooh, I got a clamp. Damn, those things. Ooh, look at that one. Well, that one's bad. That's. I can tolerate some wear, but damn, that's kind of heavy. I can only got one wrist in. Because it was the only one that was bad, probably. Some kind of breather stud thing. Looks like it's sheared off. Yeah. I only got I only got a couple leads because they're bad. Yeah. I'll wind up having to make something or do something. Alright. Well there you go. You think my Harley oil pump would be this big? No. Okay. I don't know why I need to be so big. It's only 520 or 550 cubic inches. That's it? Yeah, that's all. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like overkill. All right, we'll be back.